guys. All right. Now well, we're back. Now, guys, we are live again. So get on in here and um, I gotta unplug my phone. Hopefully, it doesn't die. So we're gonna continue on um, to uh, talk about the story we were talking about before uh, with Josh Jacobs. He's uh, one of our group members uh, down in Kansas. So where where did we leave off? Do we know? Yeah. Closure. 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 Okay. Well, hold on. That. There's that. And boom. Hold on. Shaking hands is ready to go. Good to go. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. So closure. At that moment, I guess that's where my brain started thinking about. Because some people say, "Oh, that wasn't him. That was them trying to make you do more." Yeah. Blah blah blah. So, but the thing was, that moment she she had some closure. And so us doing like private home stuff. What if we can make that happen? Well, and that's that's what's like when we go into a private home. Most people just want to know what's there. Or they want the you know, they want closure to know that they're not crazy and they're seeing this stuff happen. Yes. So it, it's it's very it's that's what it, most people are looking for is closure. Yeah. Or Especially it doesn't matter if it's a death of a family member, death of a friend, or just a regular paranormal haunting. People want to know what's there and they want to they want to be able to you know put it in their brain housing group and be able to develop it. True. So basically, we were done probably like three four ish in the morning. We didn't close it out. We didn't know proper techniques. We just put it back in the box, put it in the closet. Blew the candles out. So the board wasn't closed? No. Never. At all? Never. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know Josh Strobridge at the time. I didn't know you guys at the time. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We were using, I think, YouTube at the time. Was the Thank you, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Epic fail. So, um, so now this, this I know was Kara's idea. Uh-oh. Kara, <laughs> so this was your idea. I'm interested. We're, we're, Amelia, our neighbor, wasn't there at that time when that stuff happened. Okay. And... I, I I don't know if she's she wants proof of stuff. <laughs> kind of kind of she believes, but she wants proof. Well, she's a skeptic. Yes. So just like all of us, we're skeptics so until you seeing is believing. Until you oh, yeah. see something happen, you're gonna in your head you're just gonna be. <laughs> so we try to explain it. Like I said, the whole night nothing bad, nothing okay. bad happened. It was it was honestly peaceful. Just the whole environment it wasn't heavy like some of the stuff we go to and we get that feeling. Um, so. Um, we're telling Amelia, our neighbor, the story, and she's like, let's do it again. So she's now like, you're opening it. it for the second time. Yeah, and so Kara's like, yeah, let's do it again. So, oh. oh, that was you this time. Sorry. One job, James. One, <laughs> One job. job. America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you're... So you're, we, did, we, you're started, we, we did it again. Um, it was just me, Kara, and Amelia in the same room. Okay. And... As soon as we started, it was, we all had two fingers on it. As soon as it started, it was different. Like just the feel was the different, feel or was totally different. But the it was, room it was and immediate. everything. It was, it was immediate. instantly as soon as you got back on the board. Yes. Like it was it more of a darkish. Yes. Type like like heavier heavy. feeling. It just it felt creepy as hell. Or as one time. As, yeah. And as soon as and you could, when it was moving, you could how it moved. It just felt like it was different. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're asking questions. It, me and Kara are newly married, so I didn't really know a lot of her stuff that's happened in her, in her past. Okay. Um, and we're asking questions, um, I think there's two times, because we did it again after this, but I'm trying to remember which, what order it came in. Okay. But this, the stuff that happened that night, it wasn't, it wasn't <coughs> peaceful, it was not, nothing. Like, Amelia stopped. Because at, at one time, I lifted my hand up. Because she's like, are you moving to Josh? I lift my hand up and it... It was still moving. It was still moving and okay. answering questions that only Amelia would know. Okay. And then I said, Amelia, put your fingers off. Because I was seeing if she was moving it. So me and Kara were just doing it. It was answering questions that only she would know. So she got freaked out. We were, we we're done. We, okay. we didn't close it out. It, just, it was totally different. So the way now, it moved, it was like... The feel, so for like, you... Like, like really quick. Okay, so Stop. right now he's explaining, you know, for the, the radio aspect oh, of the I'm thing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's demonstrating on what he's doing on the table, but if you're not on Facebook Live, you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> so the second time they open the board and they're starting to ask questions again, the oracle was moving with force. The precise force, yes. purpose, yep. and it had a whole different feel. It was feeling like it was heavy in the room. That something other than something that was just there politely answering questions it was, not the same was taking over the board. Yeah. And we all know once <laughs> once a Ouija board is open, you don't know what's going to come through it. Were you even saying goodbye or anything? Nope. 
Wow. Then, okay. What? Did Second you not time, wonder yeah. why it was there? Just <laughs> <laughs> so, but, we're, sorry. We're just asking, I, I don't remember all the questions because that it wasn't, wasn't in the instructions. The Amelia part, <laughs> when, when we did it with Amelia, it wasn't, well, it wasn't, it's not as vivid as the other stuff because the other stuff was kind of crazy. But I, I don't remember all the questions we asked Amelia, but there's things that. Well, this was years ago. Yeah. I mean, that, that happens. So, we didn't close it out. We put it back away. Um, Amelia was kind of, she was creeped out. And she doesn't, okay, she doesn't, doesn't even want to bring it up to this point. She won't tell you the story. Oh, wow. Because it's, it, before we did the first time, it was like slow gliding. But this time it was... It was like it was it peaceful. Was, it was like precise. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, and it spelled damn. things that I couldn't... I don't, I'm not a good speller. So it wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> so it, just, it, was it, was, it wasn't him. It wasn't... It, wasn't, no, it was nobody. Yeah, why it is was it? just crazy, just the way it was moving and, and stuff like that. So me and Kara decided to do it again by ourselves. <laughs> So just you and Kara at this time. Yeah. Um, and this is the last time we ever did it. Um, again, oh. we went up there because somebody said something about closing it out. So at this point in time is when you realize, like, God dang it, phone. <laughs> um, you realize that not closing it was a bad mistake. Yes. At this point in time, you're like, shit. So <laughs> maybe we I don't know if Kara, <laughs> there's some questions Kara asked. I don't know why she did. Because there's questions you don't ask a Ouija board. And yeah. she asked those questions. Why, um, if you care to clarify. I'll, I'll, some I'll, people, I'll tell you, there's a story, you'll see why. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm just saying some people might not know, and yeah. they're going to play yeah. it anyway. Yeah. You know. Death. Oh, asking questions oh, okay. about death and everything. Okay, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Die stuff, but she didn't ask when I'm going to die, but you'll, when I keep on going, you'll see what she asked. And, yeah, and okay. Probably ask. She'd probably smack her in the head. Because <laughs> this time I was nervous. Because that second time, it was, it was yeah, a it was creepy different. feeling. Yeah. And so me and Carol, we, we started it. And that feeling didn't happen, though, like it did with Amelia. Um, it was about five or ten minutes before anything did happen. But as soon as it did happen, same feeling. Yeah. We had with Amelia. And Kara said, why are you here? And it's spelled out because I want to. Because I want to be, or because, like, I, because I, want I want to. to. Because okay. I want he to. wants to be there. The, the, when it was answering stuff, it was like aggressive, authoritative. Yeah, because like, I want to. Yeah. Okay. And then we said, "Who are you?" And it spelled out. I'm, a, I'm not gonna say the letters. It was supposed to say KJ. Okay. Uh, and like I said before, I didn't know Kara's family. That we were newly married. I didn't know yeah. her that. Um, her whole family like that, and. Like me and Kara knew each other for three weeks. Got married. So really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I've never wow. known that. And now, I kn wow. No. What, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay. It, no, no. In my head, I'm, I can just see you across the room. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Walking my class. My name's John. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So as we're getting married, I'm worried about our whole family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're gonna have to touch on that maybe so, afterwards. Twelve years in July, though. So we're we're, we're keeping nine good. weeks. She said nine weeks. I mean, you were bad at telling. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> nine weeks. No. Trust me, she's right. Just go with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's still short. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for three weeks. Mary weeks. Totally. Yeah. All right, so the, she's asking questions. She's the only one to ask because I don't want to ask anything. And she said, you know, who are you? And she and it spelled out, it said KJ. Um, and those are not the letters. I'm not going to put out what they were. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Um, and, but they were, they were two letters. And then Kara's thinking about it, and she said, and she had a tear in her eye. She said, are you my cousin? Ah, uh, okay. And it says yes. And that was her cousin, cousin's initials. Okay. And her her family member died. From okay. A serious illness. And she said, "Are you okay?" He said, "She said yes." And then she said, "Where are you?" And he said, "I'm in hell." Whoa. Kara started crying. It was yeah, yeah. Um, and, and and on on that note, you gotta you gotta think when you're doing a Ouija board, it's gonna target something you know, something that's familiar to you, but it may not be that person. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when when one comes, seven <coughs> travel with it. It, it. it could be you know a, another entity that was from hell, and it wasn't a human. It, it could have been a demon that attracted you. But it's using that information that it knows that it's gathering from her to make it hit the soft spot. So she says, "Why are you in hell?" These are the questions that you know, I don't want to know. 
She does. I mean, yeah. she obviously is It's her family member, you know, to her. Yeah. Like I said, the whole time it's like aggressive, the way it's answering, pulling stuff. Oh, yeah. And he says, because I'm with the devil. Okay. And then she says, why are you with the devil? And he says, because I love, I like him. And it was just aggressive. It was just, it was just, yeah. And so I had enough because it was just, it was creepy. Yeah. yeah no, and I was like, I'm done. Yeah. And so we both quote, closed it out. We left it up there. She's crying outside. She calls. Um, it was like 2 in the morning. It was late. And so she called her, uh, her sister-in-law, Lonnie. Um, Lonnie is a Wiccan. Um, she, has, okay. she has a really, really cool belief. Um, I don't know the whole Wiccan religion, all, all this stuff, but she was, yeah. we're trying to help, get help. Okay. And so we're outside talking, calming Kara down, and um, she said to uh, <coughs> put salt around it. Yep. Because we were going to burn it. I said, nope. Yeah, no. Nope. Don't. And she said, and that's the first thing Lonnie said, do not burn you wanna, it. You want to put salt around it, or you want to bind it and put it underwater? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that, that, that's just the kind of stuff she talked to care about, so we were going to do salt because we didn't know how to do all that stuff. And so we went upstairs where it was at, and the boat was gone. Peace and board so, gone. So Fox was there. Boat was gone. Okay. And no one else was in the house, none of our kids, and it, we were freaked. What? The, yeah. And so yeah, we, we, yeah. Went, we went everywhere looking for it. Like maybe we, because we panicked when, we, when all that stuff was happening. Maybe we set it down maybe somewhere. Set it somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah. Looked everywhere for like 30 minutes. Went back outside, called Lonnie, and she said, you have to find it. Yeah, because otherwise well, it's a trap. Sure. And that, it's an open portal that's just that's wandering what, around that, there. So that's what probably keeps binding. it anchored. Yeah. So yeah. me and Carol were glued at the, hook, at the hip. Like we, we didn't go nowhere by ourselves. Yeah. We were just staying together. She's still crying a little bit. And we go in the kitchen and it's on the ground. And, it's, and the piece is on there on the letter K. So the oracle's on the letter K. Yeah. And so I grabbed it, threw it on the couch, and uh, left the piece <laughs> in the kitchen, and we went outside. So she, now the board and the piece and the work are separate. separated. Okay. So we go outside, we, we call Lonnie again, and she said that when that happened, she said she heard something at her, in Kansas. We were in Indiana. Okay. And, like, breathing in her ear stopped to Lonnie. Really? And she said it was deep, and she said, Carrie, you need to bring it to a church now. Okay. And so we go back in there. It's back in the kitchen on the other jet. The, the board is. The board and the piece. So yeah. then that was the initials you originally got. So the first yeah. time was a K, the second time was a J. And then we we ran out of there again, called Lonnie. She said, you have to close it. You have, you have to, to close, close it the proper way. Yeah. And so she told us how to do it. We brought back where we started it. <laughs> and we were trying to close it, like she said. And then it kept on saying no. No, it would not. We it could, wouldn't. It physically. No, I've had times where that's happened. So at this point in time, the entity life. coming through is trying. It's, it's it's past the uh, oppression phase, and it's going into possession phase. And, and then it spells out, "Church will not help." And we never oh. closed it up. We couldn't. Where 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 did it go? <laughs> we we got rid of it. Okay. We brought it to the church and got rid of it. Oh, so you ended up dead taking yeah. it. The church took it. No, we just put it on the freaking porch. <laughs> oh, oh. I've, I've heard of, okay, let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind oh. this for a second. I've heard of dropping babies off at hospitals, fire and stations, like, fire stations. Off you just shit it. <laughs> that <laughs> night we, we, we drop and dropped it off, and and so did you at least give it a blanket? Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh my God, Clinton, what we got here, man? I've been saying all night. That sounds like the the end, the beginning of a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. But it, it goes to show that just don't mess with Ouija boards. Ever. Yeah, Especially ones bought in the aisle six of Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, 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 that, and that that story, that's, that's it's absolutely crazy. I remember the first time you told me that, and I was like, what the, what, I mean, what did you just say to me? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's told the story a couple times, but I don't think I don't I've think ever we went that detail. No, I yeah. don't think I've ever heard the story from beginning to, to end. Yeah, to no, why no, you no, guys no. had the Ouija no. board to... Yeah. That's and it's so, like, nuts. So we, we did that, and the whole okay. salt thing, I think, was behind the... She said that demons and spirits are obsessed in counting things in salt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Makes it so they say, well, because there's so, so many particles. so busy. Yeah. So we put... <coughs> we got the kids, brought them to our room, put salt around the doors, put salt around our... So you just sailed yourself in there. Sailed yourself in there, and... Uh, I know Kara's, I, I slept, I went to sleep, I was tired, and she said she, the door opened a couple of times. And, and then, but nothing could cross through? Yeah, and since then, we had never touched a Ouija board. Ever? Ever. 
and you shouldn't. Ever. Absolutely shouldn't. Like no, that's and that, and you know what's crazy about that, and it makes it's it's weird, and it's gonna it's gonna go into an investigation we did years later, obviously, when we went to the antique shop, the Chesterton antique shop that you yeah. set up, and guess what was dropped off the day before? A Ouija board. The, a Ouija board. Knowing we were coming there, knowing you were coming there, a Ouija board appeared. I'm just now putting it in my head after hearing the story. Yeah, well, he wasn't there. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was there, yeah. yes. So the Ouija you board you guys brought into my, to the studio is oh, the yeah, that one that you dropped off at the gym. No, 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 it's it's kind of now knowing the full backstory and everything that happened to you guys. It it makes me think that was meant to happen because the Ouija board wasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's been properly just you know our our Ouija boards are kept up in a secret place, a secret place that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you. Don't ask. Um, <laughs> at, the, at the same time though, Josh. I mean, with all this still stay vigilant in what's going on because to you know time is nothing to these entities you know to demons and these those kinds of entities they've been around since the beginning you know beginning so of time we don't know yeah i mean since we don't know how long since, but yeah day the time one. doesn't matter you know like yeah. it just doesn't matter to them no so and, and who's to say